comes to electric vehicles, one concern buyers may have is if they will struggle to find places to charge up. But all indications are that more charging stations will be popping up. Taylor Toshev joins us with that tonight. A new development, Taylor. Valerie and Alicia, with more EVs on the road, drivers want more places to get a charge. The state is making that happen by not only adding more charging stations, but replacing ones that are in need of repairs. I do a lot of traveling. Kip Green doesn't live in Pennsylvania, but he sure makes a lot of stops here. I'm driving from upstate New York in the Hudson Valley area down to northern Virginia um, every week. Driving an electric vehicle he's had for a few years. It was actually just a fluke. I didn't intend to get one. I was just, it was during the pandemic and I just wanted to do a demo. Going back to what he drove before is now in his rear view. To guess, probably not. Kip's commute lands him in PA to charge up and says the more chargers, the better. There's a lot of exciting investment happening. The state secured a $5 million federal investment to improve infrastructure at certain locations around the state where um, either the, the chargers were old or they're not working anymore, or they are there existing chargers that need to be improved. And that says there's also another program to build new charging stations. We received about $172 million over five years that we're um, making available to companies and to organizations um, to build new um, chargers along the interstate network primarily. Without infrastructure, it's dead in the water. Joe McCabe is president and CEO of Auto Forecast Solutions. We forecast the production of every single vehicle built worldwide for the next eight years. Who builds it, where, when, how many. And says there are hurdles when it comes to EVs. If we don't have infrastructure contained, no one's going to buy these things because still we're going to say, hey, there's a gas station in every corner, but I can't find a charging station. And when I do, two thirds of them don't work anyway. Right now, EV charging stations are only at five service plazas along the turnpike. But by the end of 2025, the Turnpike Commission says charging stations will be at all 17 turnpike service plazas. And the Turnpike Commission says the goal is to have 80 additional chargers across its system with a minimum of four at each of the plazas. Live in studio, Taylor Tashef, Alicia, back to you. All right, Taylor, thanks so much.